Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sake Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to fix when you can't obtain an IP address on your PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and jump to the video right now. So the first thing that we're going to set up is a static IP. So if we go up to settings and select this and go to network, go to the right and go to view connection status. Now under here, let's scroll on down until we get to IPv4 address. We're going to want to go ahead and write this down, subnet mask and default gateway. So write those three things down and then back out. Then go down to settings and go to the right and go to set up internet connection. Now under here, go to your currently connected internet, press options on it and go to advanced settings. Then scroll on down under this list and go to IP address settings. Switch this from automatic to manual. Then type in your IPv4 address that you wrote down, subnet mask, and default gateway. And go to your IPv4 address. And what you want to go ahead and do is increase the last segment under here. So you have the first, second, third, and last segment. Increase this value by a small factor. So if it was like 0.2, type in 0.3, or add a number afterwards. So you can go to 0.25. 0.29, etc. Then go to OK. Then go on down to your primary DNS and type in 8.8.8.8. .8 your secondary DNS, type in 8.8.4.4. Go to the M2 settings, switch this to manual, and type in 1472. And press OK. Now I'm connecting to the internet once again. Now, another thing that is very simple to change under the setup internet connection page here. If you're connecting through Wi-Fi, if you press options and you go to Wi-Fi frequency bands, manually select five gigahertz and try connecting to one of these registered networks or under networks found and connect to a five gigahertz connection. Now, if you're already connected to a five gigahertz connection, try connecting to a 2.4 gigahertz connection. Now there's a benefit to the five gigahertz connection because it's a much quicker download speed. However, the range is not quite as far. So a 2.4 gigahertz connection, if you're further away from your router, could be a better connection to connect to. Also, if you're connecting via a LAN cable directly to the back of your PlayStation 5, I think there is an issue with some LAN cables not making a good enough connection where it's kind of a little bit wobbly. So try like a Cat 8 LAN cable. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, go and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.